Hi, today we are going to talk about using TenJet. TenJet is a needle-like device that delivers a high-velocity jet of saline to preferentially debride and aspirate diseased tissue in a short amount of time. With TenJet, I am able to offer a minimally invasive solution to my patients to treat painful calcific tendinosis of the supraspinatus or other areas of the rotator cuff. The procedure uses ultrasound imaging to guide the device to the diseased tissue, which we then debride so that patients have resolution of their chronic tendon pain. I have found this is an incredibly valuable procedure that we can offer to patients to improve quality of life and restore function. Prior to the procedure, the patient is draped and prepped in a sterile fashion with the patient being placed in a beach chair position to access the shoulder. The procedure is performed under ultrasound guidance to visualize both the pathologic tissue as well as the positioning of the TenJet device. A layer of ultrasound gel is applied onto the probe cover as well as on the surgical site to increase the transmission of sound waves. With ultrasound, I scan the tendon in an axial and a longitudinal view to identify and confirm location of the pathology. On ultrasound, we can see the supraspinatus, where there is some hypoechoic tissue that we will target with TenJet. To ensure that the patient has minimal discomfort during the procedure, I administer a local anesthetic to the affected area using an inline parallel approach. I use ultrasound to guide the needle to the diseased tissue and anesthetize the needle track from the supraspinatus tendon to the superficial structures. I then plan the shortest direct approach to the tendon. Using an 11 blade scalpel and holding the sharp edge away from the ultrasound probe cover, I make a small stab incision down to the tendon just contacting the bursa. Once I have created a pathway for the TenJet device, I guide the TenJet needle toward the pathology while visualizing it under ultrasound. You can see on the ultrasound the TenJet device is going towards the diseased pathology within the supraspinatus tendon. When the device is in the proper position, I depress the foot pedal to deliver the high velocity stream of saline to debride and evacuate the diseased tissue from the site. While debriding the diseased tissue, I rotate the device to expose the pathology to the cutting window. I also use a gentle pistoning motion forward and backwards to reach all of the pathology that is causing pain for the patient. After three to five minutes of debridement with TenJet, I scan the tendon again to confirm that I have reached all of the diseased pain-inducing tissue. Looking at the ultrasound, I can see a very uniform appearance of the tendon with a reduction in the thickening which we saw in the tendon previously. Since the procedure is performed through a stab incision, there is no need for sutures. I place steri strips and a small gauze bandage over the incision, which is then covered with a tegaderm. So as you can see, using TenJet is a very efficient way to debride chronic tendon pain. It utilizes the high-velocity water jet to remove the disease tissue and restore function. Mm -hmm.